The 14th Amendment tells us that we should not just accept the DACA program as it is. I think it just, it really is a, an insult to the, uh, you know, the plight of blacks and what they went through in this country to get their citizenship. I'm not a black person and I can't speak for black people, but I think it's, it's nonsense to say that it's insult. Giving more people rights does not take away your rights. Wow, what an exciting segment that was. And one of the more exciting points came right towards the end uh, where we had the exchange between Keith and Sonia. Uh, what was your take on that and the 14th Amendment as it relates to the immigration issue? Well, I think it's a really sensitive issue, and I think that they both touched on very good points. Uh, obviously, Keith is coming at it from a very personal standpoint, but then you also have Sonia making the point of giving people rights doesn't take rights away from other people. And I think that that's all both sides had good points, but we have to remember, we're trying to find a solution that's gonna work for our country today. That's key. Let's move on. Uh, what do you think about Michael? Well, I think Michael brought up some great points regarding, uh, and even although she was technically wrong, uh, DACA was not necessarily amnesty. It was a temporary legal status, but it was unconstitutional. And I think in, in an insidious way was sort of left as a ticking time bomb for the next administration to have to deal with during a midterm year because it just expired this March. I mean, that's my personal take on it. What do you think? Well, you know, I think the ticking time bomb may be a bit dramatic. I think it's more of a Band-Aid, uh, but what the patient really needs is open heart surgery. And uh, <laughs> I mean, it, we're not in a good situation. And I think that's what's really clear. Well, I agreed uh, kind of very strongly with a lot of the things that VJ had to say. Now, when we were watching that footage, I could see you rolling your eyes uh, very dramatically at certain points. Well, I think the, the issue that I take with a lot of Vijay's points is that it doesn't give enough credence to what immigration actually does bring to our country, the positives. And that actually does come off of undocumented folks and legal immigrants as well. So our country gains a lot from the strength of our immigrant population. So that's something that we need to update and modernize. And I'm really excited to see what the table comes up with when we're looking for common ground. So let me ask you guys this, do you think that our immigration policies or procedures target any specific group of people? They specifically target brown people, and I think it's bull that we do that. We're going to have to give you a flag for um, language. <laughs> Damn. Sonia, I hate to do it again. <laughs> But unfortunately, you received two flags, so if you receive one more, you will be asked to leave the table. So let's get right back into this. Uh, Christian, I think you had your card up. I would like to clarify my position a little bit, because I do agree that we need borders. Like, yeah, my house has a door, it has a lock. If you come into it, you're not getting out. Um, so <laughs> you, you, we do need borders, we need laws, but you can practice uh, executing the law without being cruel. There is not a civil right to come to America. It is more accurately the right of the nation to say we must make choices on who comes. When you think of a child coming to this country and being part of us, no one would like to reject that child, especially if they're enjoying the true freedoms here and appreciate our country. We need uh, some immigration laws that are going to work not only for the present but for the future to handle situations like this because it is getting out of control and if you do it for one, why can't you do it for another? So we have to make some tough decisions. The higher powers that be think that um, a global society is going to be the ideal. They want open borders, uh, everybody, you know, kumbaya, but it doesn't work like that. No one has a right to come to this country. We didn't have any immigration between 1924 and 1965. 